This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this chapter, I'd just like to cover the 2D screen manipulation tools. And there are basically two of these, the 2D pan and the 2D zoom. Initially, these may seem very similar to the camera tools that we've just spoken about, but they are in fact different. And to highlight those differences, it's useful to turn on the production frame. So we can go to menu, view, show production frame. And this shows you the extent of the scene that the camera will actually render. So if we did a render now, the limits of this box show the edges of that particular render. But the scene obviously exists outside of that, and we can access that through the 2D tools without changing the camera view. So if I had an object off to this side, then I would be able to access it without changing the camera view. Equally, we can zoom into the scene to show more detail, but again, not affecting the camera view. If you press Alt or Option, we can then zoom out again. If you ever get lost, then you can reset 2D and you have options to select the particular zoom level. And if we select, oh, it's already at 100. So that's the default setting. So bear in mind that there are those 2D manipulation tools that are different from the camera. We also have a test render tool, which I'll just cover here. If we click on that, we can drag across the scene and just do a quick test render to test out the render options. The test render is always at the render options that you've actually set in the render room. So if you're aiming to do it quickly, then make sure that those render settings aren't set too high. But you can always press escape or just carry on editing and that will abort the operation of the test render.